to see today my tutorials. In this tutorial, we can see how to use uh, include directive in uh, JSP applications. So before going to include directive, what I need to do is uh, I must go for one more JSP or any one more HTML file or any file. So just create one more JSP file. Uh, I click on the web pages and go for the new one JSP. So here my file name is supposed to be simply file. And I'm going to finish this file. So I will just uh, file here, file.jsp. So in the body tag, what I need to do is uh, I can go for uh, one tag that is a strong tag. Press this and uh, can I go for JSP Java support pages. So here before this, welcome to PM. Okay, so a simple file I am created here. And this is called a file.js. And if I run this application, what I will see is uh, I'll be getting the output of index.jsp, which has nothing here, body is totally empty here. So, if suppose I want to that file.jsp, then go for that file.jsp. Okay, so I got the result of the file.jsp and come to this uh, ID and just put some text to this. Uh, body tag go for h3 include demo we can go for include demo slash h3 100 the simple tag here save this and run this application once again all right i got include demo and as well as if I go for the file.jsp, I got the output of this file. So right now my application, so what my application is here is supposed to be, I need to include this uh, file.jsp into my uh, index.jsp. If suppose it is index.jsp, I want to include that file.jsp into this file. So means it is uh, nothing but uh, including some external file. So to do that we have that is uh, include directives in our um, JSP applications. Just go for this uh, statement here. So percent at. So if I put like this, then it comes include and include so here file is supposed to be file.jsp and close this one and put models here so this is how the include will be used so this will include so file.jsp during the runtime so just save this one so this is the include directive so just uh, see this one so this tag name is supposed to be include and it need what actually the file it is required it is must ensure it is required and uh, this file.jsp was included here so when i run this application so what happens i will be included with the that file.jsp of course i got the include demo as well as the contents of the file.jsp application so this is how the files uh, external files will be included into jsp application using the uh, include page directly so if you want to use uh, uh, one more page, uh, one more directive that is called a uh, uh, tag lib directive the tag lib directive can be used if we are going for any uh, tag libraries so we can uh, see that uh, in uh, next upcoming tutorials uh, so right now we can uh, see that uh, how to work with the page directives and also the include directives so i'll just remove this import statement which is not necessary here save this and uh, run this application one more time you can see the output so this is the output which is generated by this uh, jsp application that is called index.jsp it means that index.jsp is included the file file.jsp if you